Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share a process video on how I make this shaker card. This is going to be a shaker that I send to my friend Kim, who's Snap Diva one here on YouTube. She's currently hosting a challenge, and I will put a link in the description box below if you guys want to participate. Now, I used for this shaker this super cute stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Ba Humbug, and it's intended to be a Christmas stamp set, but obviously you can use it for Valentine's and so many other occasions. I love this little U here, and I love using that pun love you, E-W-E, -E, which is a female sheep. And I think the little ram with a little horn here is so cute. So I use these guys. I colored up the faces and the little feet just with a little Copic coloring. And then I used the Snow Rider to make the fluffiness on the little sheep. And now I'm going to be going through with you how I assembled this card. The first thing I did was use a regular cardstock sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. I cut it in half, scored it down the middle, and this is your standard A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. I also cut another card front the same size, and then I used the Simon Says Stamp Stitch Square die set. I used the second largest one to create this window. And then I cut out a variety of pieces out of some polka dot vellum and some more cardstock to make some little snowy hills. And for that, I used the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside die set. I have a little piece of plastic here. So the adhesive that I'm using here is Zip Dry, and this is great for non-porous substances like plastic and acetate, because what it does is it, it actually melts into the plastic. So, you know that once it's dry, the bond is really strong. This is not going to get undone like a lot of other wet glues might with acetate or plastic. But I will say this is toxic, so you do need to wash your hands if you get it on your hands. Now I'm going to start building up all the layers of snowy hills. The first one I'm going to attach with my ATG gun to the front of the card front. I think it's so cute when you have layers of hills like this to have some on the front of the shaker and some inside. And that's the card front construction complete. Now I'm gonna use strips of double-sided foam adhesive and I'm cutting it into strips to surround all the edges of this card front. Now before I take any of this backing adhesive off, I'm gonna take my EK powder tool and go around the edges of the inside area. This is where the shaker pieces are gonna be and I just don't want them to stick to the edges. And I find that adding this little powder really helps prevent that. I'm blowing off the excess so the middle part isn't, you know, filmy. Now I'm gonna add the first layer of hills for the inside and in order to do that, I need to take off release paper on this double-sided foam adhesive. Now I'm going to be putting on the second layer of foam adhesive right over all the areas where I have the first layer. Now the window is about here, but I want to just put in some really faint lines because I want to make the sky blue by just using a little bit of Tim Holtz Distressed Ink and Tumbled Glass. And this part down here is not going to show, so I'm going to start here and just lightly go into that area. I'm starting the blending lower down and trying to use a very soft touch so that the sky is a very pale, pale blue. Now I'm taking my art glitter glue, but you can use any wet glue, to adhere the snowy hill that is the furthest back. Now this is being attached directly onto my card base. 
Now I'm going to take my little pre-prepared U and try and find where she should be placed inside the shaker. I think that's the place, just over to the left there. And I'm using more of that art glitter glue and making sure that she's going to be glued on very well inside the card. Because once you close it up, you can't get back in there to make any adjustments. Now for picking out the shaker pieces. I'm putting in some snowflake confetti and some pearl and silver and white sequins. And I think these will be really fun as shaker pieces because they will be shaking around in the various layers inside the shaker. Oh, I'm also going to add some chunky silver glitter. This is Stampin' Up! glitter and the chunkiness helps prevent it from kind of getting lost. Now, one more time, I'm going to take my EK Tools powder tool and go all along the edges of where the window is before I take off that release paper. Now you just have to take your time and really align the card front to the card base. Now I want to glue the little ram onto the front hill of the card so that it looks like he is peeking in into the window looking at his sweetheart. I took this love word die from Little Yellow Bicycle and I die cut it out of red cardstock to match the little bow that I have on the U and I'm using more of that art glitter glue to adhere it to the lower right of the card. I also cut a little banner piece out of the stamped U-E-W-E -E -E from the stamp set and I'm attaching a little resin heart with more of that zip dry glue. And then lastly, I'm putting some glossy accents over top of the entire die cut word love and that just to give it some shine and a little bit of dimension. And there's my finished card. If you enjoyed this process video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful crafty day.